Hi guys, welcome to Learn Electronics Repair. It's that time of year, Merry Christmas, hey. Just one week to go now, and it's time to have a bit of fun, I think. So, this is a Christmas special. I'm sure we'll have some more before the big day comes. But in this one, I want to test your guys' knowledge of electronics, yeah? So, I have three circuits to show you. And I'm going to ask you a question on each one. I'll publish this today. Well, obviously it'll be today because the day you see it, I can say that's today. Yeah. And tomorrow, which obviously must be the day afterwards, I will explain the answers. Okay, so the first one is this little circuit here. And what we have here, we can see, is eight resistors. These are all one Kilo ohm resistors, 1K, 1,000 ohms each. And the question is, what's the resistance between here and here? Or if you prefer, between here and here, because this is a symmetrical circuit. I'll draw the circuit out on paper for you so you can see it most clearly, yeah? And then it's up to you guys. So let's have a look at this circuit. What we have here are eight resistors, I said. And we have two 1K resistors like this. 1K, 1K, yeah. We have another pair of 1K resistors like this, and a third one. Now you can see, I hope, that each of these pairs contain two resistors wired in series. Okay, so these are in series, these are in series, these are in series. Now, we're going to connect all these together. Okay, and the same here. So what we've now done is taken our three pairs of resistors in series and connected them all in parallel. Okay. In, out, if you like. Doesn't matter which way. We're now going to add two more resistors. I said there was eight. So we're going to connect from here to here. A 1K resistor. And from here to here. A 1K resistor. So that's our circuit. And the question is, as I said, what is the resistance between point A and point B? Okay, so there's something for you to think about. Answer tomorrow. Okay, but obviously you guys get answering now in the comments below. So that's challenge number one. Well, okay. I hope you'll find that one simple enough, yeah? Let's have a look at challenge two. So this involves another circuit. I'll just show you this thing. So here it is. What we have here is four LEDs, okay? I will tell you all the LEDs are identical all four of them. Then we have a capacitor, and from the other end of this capacitor, we connect back to the start of the chain of LEDs. I'll draw this as well, okay? So what we have here LED 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 Okay, then we have a capacitor This is a 100 nanofarad That's supposed to be an N 100 nanofarad capacitor Okay, and from the other end of the capacitor 
we connect back here. I'll tell you now these LEDs are blue LEDs, but that isn't particularly relevant, but I will tell you. I'm not keeping any secrets here. Okay. And that is the circuit. The question is, what's the voltage across the capacitor? If we put our voltmeter across here, what will we read? Yeah. What is the voltage okay we're not adding anything else to this we're not connecting this to anything else apart from our multimeter nothing else okay so challenge two what is the voltage and once again get into the comments below and i will reveal the answer tomorrow okay I have, I did say three challenges, so let's have a look at the third one. So here we have a transformer, a 12 volt transformer. We have two switches, and these are single pole switches. There's only two connections on each switch, okay. And we have two light bulbs. These are low wattage light bulbs. And we have a transformer so 220 volts in and 12 volts out at the moment both switches are switched off i'll apply the mains power to this and then let's try switching these switches on okay so first of all i will switch this switch on this one is off and this bulb lights okay i'm now going to switch this switch on and this bulb lights Okay, and if I switch both switches on, both bulbs light. Doesn't matter which order I do it in. One, two. Okay, same brightness as each other. So, this circuit may not be working quite the way you would expect it to work, but you can see exactly what it does. Yeah, once again, one bulb, the other bulb, or both bulbs. So the challenge here is to add three components to the circuit. If you can make it work with less than three additional components, by all means, that's fine. But definitely not more, not four or five or any other. Three is the maximum number of components you can add to this circuit in this challenge. The components can either be identical to each other or they can be different values or completely different types of components. There's no limit on what type any of these components can be. So the challenge in this one is to add three components to this circuit to make it behave in the way that you've just seen. Okay. That should be quite illuminating. Let's see if you can work this one out. Comments below. And once again, tomorrow I will demonstrate how this circuit works. You know? Detlef has appeared. Hey, nerds. Yeah, so you can see we're both ready for Christmas. I was just explaining this video to Det, and he didn't quite understand this last no, challenge. So get, didn't get it. Didn't get it. So in case anybody else doesn't get it, I'll draw it You're on You're not paper. alone with not getting this. You're not alone. <laughs> so we have a transformer. 12 volt. This is the mains, okay? AC. 220 volt. And from the transformer... We go to a switch, then we go to another switch, single pole switches, then we come to a light bulb, and another light bulb. Looks like broccoli. I'll tell you the light bulbs are 12 volt light bulbs. Maybe I'm hungry. <laughs> 12 volt, 12 volt, looks like broccoli. Okay, we come to <laughs> two pieces of broccoli, and we go back to here. So that's the circuit that I am showing you. Now that is not the complete circuit. To make this behave in the way it was behaving, you need to add three components. The challenge is to make the circuit behave in the way I've just shown you by adding no more than three components. 
Three is the least that I can do it in. If you can do this with less than three, you're better than me. That's for sure. That's the minimum I can make this work with. Okay, so does that make it more clear? Not really, but I, I don't have an idea why, why I want to go with that. Okay. Let, me, let me think about this. Okay, well, just like Detlef, you have until tomorrow. So in 24 hours, we'll publish the answers. And now by the magic of video editing, as well as Christmas, of course, there is your challenge written on there. So there will be no confusion what you need to do to solve this one. Get into the comments below. Love to hear from you guys. Can you solve this one also? If you can solve any one of these three challenges, let us know. Okay, solve one of them and you're good. Yeah, if you can solve any two of them, you're very good. Yeah, and if you can solve all three, you don't need me to teach you anything. Yeah, you know it. You're good, good, good. Exceptionally good. Okay, so I want to hear from you as soon as you can. Answers tomorrow on Learning Electronics Repair. Ciao for now, guys.